everybody, this is Praxis, and today has been a really humid day here on site. It wasn't really sunny, in fact, we had some rain on and off during the day, uh, but I've tried to take advantage of you know, the weather where it's moist and warm, and I started off this morning doing uh, concrete stucco work. Uh, you can see uh, off to your left all that white plastic is covering a bunch of stucco work that's on the interior part of the greenhouse. I did everything that uh, you know, I'd gotten uh, bolted down with the Tapcon screws. Uh, I guess we'd forgotten to do the top sections of, of each of these on both sides. So I did everything I could up to there and then, uh, and then called it on that. And I did just a, a little bit of like uh, interior stucco work, like parts of the uh, foundation that are gonna be visible from within, uh, within the inside of the house. Uh, you know, uh, wet the wall down and then uh, did, you know, just a, a layer on it because it's you know when you do the concrete form work there's little bubbles there's bumps you know there's the the nubs from where the form pins went through uh you know i broke off the form pins the other day but uh today i went through and i just really smoothed it out it got a lot of water on there and just uh made it nice and smooth and uh you know appealing looking for later on if that section of the wall is visible after that i wanted to do some more carpentry work but i really couldn't because uh, everything was just wet all day nothing was drying out it was like i said it was periodically raining uh so I really couldn't do any carpentry work. I, I did bring some boards and got them li um, laid up against the house. Uh, those are some two by sixes. They're gonna be used for some of the interior um, posts that go on the second floor. Uh, but you know, I was kind of feeling like, you know, I have time here, I wanna be working, but there wasn't really a lot of stuff that I could really productively do that you know, wouldn't be problematic. Like, cause if I do carpentry, you know, the wood's all gonna be changing, uh, you know, shape and everything as it dries out. So uh, I was looking for things to do and well, right next to me, if you haven't already seen it, I worked on these steps today. These steps uh, come right out of the greenhouse area and right where river is up here, that's where I'm gonna have the woodshed. Initially, I had planned on having the woodshed back on the other side of the house and I am gonna have a structure over there because I need some kind of a structure to hold the solar hot water panels and the, the pastures are over there. All the uh, infrastructure for that is all on that side. So I'm still gonna maybe put a shed over there or something like that. Uh, you know, storage space is always great. But you know, I need something to hold those up. But I was thinking that that's, it's just so far to walk over there to get firewood. I, I always would have had to like go up and around to get it and it never, I never really liked that. And I like the idea, uh, at the last homestead, you only had to walk about like six feet outside. You know, you, you left the house into the greenhouse and you walked about six feet to the woodshed and it was really easy in the winter. It was like you didn't have to shovel that far. In order, wow, my plastic's all blowing around over there. Maybe I gotta put some more boards on there. Uh, but anyway, I like the idea of having a very short uh, you know, walk between the house and the woodshed. So I decided putting it here would really work well. Initially, I thought about putting it here, but I just wasn't sure how much room I was gonna have in here until the house really gets situated. And now looking at it, it looks like there's really gonna be a, plenty of room. And now I've got these nice steps to go up to it. So I worked on these today. This was something that I could, could do. It didn't matter that it was periodically raining or whatever. And I've been saving some of the grass from down over there where the leach field's gonna be put in, the septic system. All the grass down there is gonna get, just get destroyed. So I've been stealing it, bringing it up here. This is great grass. It's like three or four inches tall is its max height that it grows to. It just seeded itself wild here in the woods. No, nobody planted it here. Um, so I'm hoping if I can you know, get a lot of this stuff, it'll be able to spread out and you know, kind of be the lawn area of the house. Um, so that's it. Voila! I, I love doing stone work with this kind of stuff. But behind each stone is a lot of sand and gravel, so you get good drainage, so you're not going to get like frost heaves behind them. They, they'll make frost heave a little bit. But overall, uh, good drainage behind it, and big stones really deeply set into the earth. So these should be, they should stay pretty, uh, pretty solid. That's it. Thanks for watching.